Hey guys, April Melvin here, and today is my rant video, and the rant video is on sports team denomination Christians, those Christians that are so convinced that their denomination is the only denomination that gets saved, and then they proceed to be complete jerks to other people. I'm going to rant about it here. Before I get into that, I want to take just a quick sec and ask that you guys please like and subscribe to my channel. I put out new content on Tuesdays. That's my rant videos, like this one right here. And then Thursdays are more of my teaching content. So if you want a faith-based channel that has a bold and yet balanced, but always biblical look at our modern world, then hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell. This rant video is brought to you by some TikToks that I made. I recently made a couple of Christian TikToks and one of them was kind of making fun of the different denominations. Uh, I talk about how I recently left my Southern Baptist church and I was trying to figure out which new church to join. And I talk about the denominations and most people were pretty chill. Most people were like, hey, I'm a Lutheran. Hey, I'm a Pentecostal. Hey, I'm non-denominational, right? Totally fine. Some people though, <laughs> we're not so chill. In fact, I would go so far as to say some people were complete and utter jerks in the comment section of a stranger's TikTok. I mean, no big deal. But it, they were just fighting amongst themselves, like accusing other people, you know, when they would say I'm this denomination of, I don't know what sort of hearsay. And it was just, it was awful. And so this prompted me to start this rant video, which is we have got to get rid of the sport team denomination mentality. We are all, when we have been saved, we are all part of the universal body of Christ. We are all in this together. Now, I understand why we have denominations, which are not scriptural, by the way, right? The, the Bible does not talk about Lutherans and Protestants and, and Methodists, like they just don't. But I understand why we as humans have it. It's to identify a particular set of traditions or um, certain doctrines that a particular church subscribes to. And now all of these are rib issues. Again, if you believe in the core of our gospel, which is uh, that you are a we were born a sinner in need of a savior, that Jesus satisfies that requirement of a savior. And if you accept him as that savior, you're saved, right? If, as long as that core tenet is there, you're fine. All this other stuff is just rib issues. Whether you use wine for communion or grape juice, rib issue. Whether you are sprinkled or fully immersed, rib issue, right? They're interesting things to discuss and they're certainly scriptures that talk about it. And we should be open to have those discussions. The discussions themselves are not bad. It's when they get over into this anger and bitterness and just like strife, like that's when we got to shut it down. And I am so tired of Christians infighting amongst themselves over things that don't impact the salvation message. When we're told to be defenders always of the gospel, it is that that salvation message. And we should, when someone tries to alter it, when someone tries to say, well, you know, Jesus was just a man. He was the son of man and the son of God. Like he he was at the beginning. He was the word and the word became flesh. Yeah, so he, he was a man, but he wasn't just a man. He was born through a virgin birth. Or, you know, with things like, well, he wasn't really resurrected. Uh, no, 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 he was. And he, that's the defense. And we should, we should know that. And we should know that so intimately that when we are asked about that, we should go, wait, time out. That's, mm -mm. this scripture says this and this scripture says this. That's the gospel that we should be defending. The other stuff, baptism, especially baptism for membership, you guys, no, there's no reason to fight about it. Talk about it, absolutely. You know, looking at the Greek word of, um, you know, baptism, going back to that and, and looking at what that meant, that's interesting and we should be doing it, but it's no reason to throw shade or to hate someone else because they think that sprinkling's okay. And so I guess my rant is this, stop being jerks, just, Stop it. As long as the core issue of salvation is settled, then learn how to have a discussion with your brother and sister in Christ and love them and be okay with them have a slightly different understanding. I think this is so true of like predestination and, and free will. Like you guys stop fighting amongst yourselves. You just look ridiculous. There are, I am not a follower of predestination, but I have absolutely read scriptures that make me go, yeah, I can see 100% why my brothers and sisters in Christ that believe in predestination. I can see how they get there and I love them and I don't need to be a jerk to them about it because that's not a particular belief that I'm fully 100% ascribed to or committed to, right? And I think that's how we should approach it. The second thing I will say, and then I'll get to what, what that means for us as believers, is that we look like ridiculous pricks to the rest of the world. And by the world, I mean the non-believers. Seriously, I can only imagine if a non-believer stumbled across my TikTok and looked in the comment section and saw all of the nastiness and the hate and the back and forth. I mean, because people were straight up 
jerks on, on those comment section. Like I can only imagine them being like, why in the world would I want to be a part of that? Why would I want that drama? Why would I want that anger and that meanness in my life? The reason why we're told in the scriptures that they will know us, they will know us by our love is because that love should make us look different. That love should make us act differently. And if we're acting and we're looking just like the world, then if you're a non-believer looking at that, you're not attracted to it. You don't, you don't want to be a part of that. That's like going to a personal trainer that isn't in shape. Like you just don't believe that they're going to have the stuff that's going to help you get in shape. And that's the same thing with Christians. If you are around a Christian and they're a hateful prick, like you're like, well, how are you going to teach me about the love of Christ when you clearly do not believe in it for yourself? And so I think as, as believers, one of the ways that we should be defending the gospel is by not being jerks, especially on social media. You are not a keyboard warrior because you're a jerk to another Christian. I am so tired of that. So if you feel like you're getting a Holy Spirit pat on the back by putting a mic drop comment on somebody's social media TikTok and you're just a complete mean person about it, like, no, Holy Spirit's not high-fiving you for that. You're actually going to be feeling some conviction at some point if you are opening up your heart and your spirit to the Holy Spirit convicting you because he does not want you to be a jerk. We are not supposed to be a jerk to one another. So if you have found yourself on social media and you think that you're defending the gospel by being mean to another believer or even non-believer for that matter, this goes for non-believers too. If you find an atheist or an agnostic or heck, a, a, a Muslim or a Buddhist or, you know, whatever other faith, if you find their social media account and you get on there and you're a jerk to them, shame on you. There's no... Did Jesus ever evangelize that way? No. When John and James said, hey, we're coming up on Samaria and, you know, we don't really like them and they're not nice to us. Let's rain down some fire. What did Jesus say? No. Love and compassion. That's how we win hearts. That's how we evangelize. So if you're going on an atheist page and you're putting something nasty on that page, you're just as bad as an atheist being mean to a Christian. Like, just stop. Just stop stop. You're not winning souls. You're creating division. It doesn't work. So if you're on social media, here's my plea. My rant was we need to be nicer on social media, not only to each other, but everyone else. Here's my plea. If you are on social media and you scroll across something and you don't agree with it, you are certainly welcome to ask a question. I think that's fair. Ask a nice question, not a, not a leading question, not a question to be a jerk. Ask a sincere question. That's fine. Or just scroll past it. You like, I know this is crazy, but you literally could just like it's gone. You don't have to, you don't have to comment. You just, boop, it's gone. Move on. Like it doesn't require, and I get it because I've been there and I, oh, I see something. And I'm like, oh, I have to say something, but you really don't. That's what I've learned. You really don't. It's not going to help the situation. It's not going to win hearts and influence minds for you to put something jerkish on a social media platform. So just don't. Love people. Be kind. Stop a Stop assigning a denomination as your identity. Like you're, I have some shocking news. You believe again that Jesus Christ is your savior and you've accepted him as your savior and you recognize your need for him. You're going to heaven. I don't care what denomination you are. And when we get up there, we're all going to be one big happy family. It's not going to be a Baptist wing or a Protestant wing or a Methodist wing. So we might as well get along now, right? So get rid of that sport team denomination mentality. Cheer on all churches. If you're, if you're in a Baptist church and your Lutheran brothers and sisters have a fish fry, go support them. Do it. We're all should be cheering. We should all be cheering each other on period. I don't care what denominations we are. And then if you're on social media and you run across something and you don't agree with it, you don't like it, scroll past it. Keep your mouth shut. Walk in love. That's all I got. All right. All right, guys. I hope that, I don't know if that was helpful. It was helping me. I think the rants are really more for my psychological benefit. I apologize in advance, but if this was helpful to you, give it a like, give it a share. Let me know in the comment section. And guys, come back on Thursday. I think I'm going to talk about goals. So I, I know that sounds weird, but you know, as we're going into 2022, I'm a big goal person. I love goals. And I think that we can create goals around our spirituality, about our faith and how we can deepen it and grow. But I don't think we talk about it enough. And so I'm going to explore that on Thursday. So guys, come back from that and I will see you then. Mm -hmm.